Walking down the streets of Budapest, thousands of Hungarians took part in the March of the Living on April 21, 2013. The march commemorates the survivors of the Holocaust and it is held every year. But this time it drew extra attention. An anti-Jewish demonstration by a group of extreme right bikers dubbed Give Gas was planned on the same day. Though the Prime Minister Viktor Orban called for the rally's cancellation, members of the Jewish community criticized the ruling Fidesz party for not taking a clear stance against hate speech and discrimination. Members of the Jewish community say anti-Semitism is on the rise, especially after right-wing party Jobbik was voted into parliament. In December 2012, one of the party's member of parliament, Martin Giongiossi, suggested making a list of all the Hungarian Jews, arguing they pose a security threat to the country. The remark came after the violent conflict between Israel and Gaza in November 2012. Giongiossi later specified that his words were linked to criticism of the parliament and government's strong support of Israel and was aimed at Jews with dual Hungarian-Israeli citizenship. According to Tamás Deshi from the Federation of Jewish Communities in Hungary, if Jews are targeted from the podium of the parliament, it may encourage anti-Semitism in society. Semitic sentiments, uh, they are feeling more and more encouraged uh, by the your big party in the in the Hungarian Parliament, uh, who who are they say and it's, it's in fact they are uh, led uh, leg uh, uh, into the uh, Hungarian Parliament. Uh, <coughs> the, they voted uh, democrat democratically uh, to the Hungarian Parliament, and um, so these people, the voters, uh, uh, they feel more encouraged. Uh, due to the uh, presence of the Yopi party in the parliament. There's about 100,000 Jews in Hungary. Most of them live in Budapest. Lawyer at the Federation of Jewish Communities in Hungary, Gador Georgi, followed the cases of verbal and physical attacks on the Hungarian Jews. Based on conclusions of a recent study by the Federation, the number of cases is increasing and includes cursing in the streets and vandalism of Jewish sites. But he points out that not only Jews are targeted. Uh, a dirty Jew, we are a dirty Jew, uh, Roma. Uh, I think so, this, uh, we don't have a chance to change. Rabbi Tamash Vero from the Frankel Synagogue in Budapest say that members of his congregation fear the racism will escalate. Vero said it had become the norm in Hungary that Jews hide their faith due to fear of verbal or physical attacks. Like my wife said that uh, I have to wear a baseball hat and she said that uh, we have to leave this country. So because. You can't see the future like it's positive. It's everything is showing the same direction like it was in 33 or 34 in that time. In the building next to the synagogue, Vero regularly finds swastika signs. That doesn't scare him, but he hears especially families with children speak of leaving the country. We tried to get a comment from the government and the Jobbik party, but they weren't available for this report. They see attacks on other minorities, such as the Roma, and fear that they will be next. While some hide their kibbeh under a baseball cap, others pack their bags and seek to Israel in hope for better opportunities.